Good morning, you guys, and welcome back to my channel, Long Time No See. We are kicking off my vlog videos with a summer day in the life. We are gonna be doing lots of summer day in the life videos and all the vlogs. I am back at it, and I'm feeling, I just feel so refreshed. I had, I talked about this on Instagram, but I had an unintentional um, unplug the past couple weeks helping my parents move into their new house, which is beautiful and gorgeous, and I can't wait to show it to you guys. But that is where I've been. The summer is so busy and I cannot wait to share all of the things with you guys because we have so many fun things planned. So today, first things first, it is Kaya and Mommy Day. On Wednesdays, we've got Kaya and Mommy Day because Riker goes to daycare and Kaya stays with me. We finally have the pool up, which I will show you guys here in a little bit, which is also why I look so crunchy today because even though I had SPF 50 on yesterday, I got super burnt. Um, so that is the plan today. We're gonna go drop Riker off, we're gonna go and get some coffee, and we're gonna go and grab a swimsuit, a new swimsuit for Kaya because some of hers are a little small. We're gonna go have a sushi date for lunch with Mike, and then we're gonna come back here and have a pool day. So welcome to the best summer ever and the kickoff to our summer 2021 day in the life videos. I'm so excited to share all of these things with you guys and hopefully I give you guys some fun ideas of what to do with your kids during the summer, so okay. I'm a little crunchy, so it's time to go get some coffee. <laughs> My eyeballs are so itchy. Okay, coffee order. Um, I get a venti iced Americano with heavy cream and three pumps of sugar-free cinnamon dolce. And it is low carb, it is keto, it's really good. Um, although I do wanna try, there are some like non-keto ones that I would like to try and they sound so good to me. Um, my girl Lori over on the Glam Farmhouse, she like inspires me to do all of the things, like buy all the things, do all the things. She um, got like a chai tea latte with like, I think it was like raspberry, like pumps of raspberry and pumps of vanilla in there. Anyways, it looked divine. Oh, what do I spill it every time? Okay, so I picked up some magazines and some fun things from Target. And now it is time to go get some sushi, huh, Kai? It is hot, hot today. It's like, I think the high is supposed to be 100 degrees. It's probably like 95, 96 right now. 
Um, oh my goodness, <laughs> my phone's going off. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys our setup really quick. You guys can kind of see what we've done here in the background, but I'm gonna give you a, a like quick little overview of like all of the projects and things that we've been doing here in the backyard. Okay, so first things first, here is the pool. Um, this is a Summer Waves brand that we actually purchased secondhand on the Facebook marketplace. It was like a hundred bucks. This is back when I was talking about like getting a pool was like the wild, wild west. It was just insane trying to find a pool at the time. Um, they are in stock more now, but this same pool is like $700. Uh, granted, the one that we saw was like two feet bigger. It was like a 16 foot. This is a 14 foot and it's 42 inches tall um, and we don't fill it all the all the way up um, so Kaya can touch. So as you guys can see, Kaya can touch here. She's been to, this will be her fourth year of swim lessons but she's doing really well and she is diving and of course like I am a crazy water safety mama. So the kids are not allowed out here unless I'm out here. Riker is starting his first year of swim lessons this year and it's the parent and child one so i will be going with him to that which will be super fun to start later on this month but yes um this is the pool setup we're not quite done yet um i had to level out the ground we were gonna dig this down level it out um and then put like a concrete pad or like sand in the bottom but it was just we did not have time this year so we just grabbed leveling sand and leveled out the ground to the best of our ability it is kind of sinking in the back here so mike is um taking like a jack to like lift up just one of the legs put some cinder blocks underneath to make sure that it doesn't sink into the soil anymore um but it's just a quick and easy fix it's good enough for this year we're not complaining about it whatsoever we just want to make sure that this side doesn't sink anymore um, and I know that there's better ways of doing it but we just had to get it up quick because this week was going to be a hundred degree weather and I had like a day to finish the project so as you guys can see under here I've got like some sand to level it and then around right now these are just laid on top of the grass and they might stay like this for the rest of the year um, but I just grabbed some charcoal pavers to go all the way around. I put a little rug here. I got this from Target. Um, and then I've got some solar lights that still need to be dug down. And I do need to finish off the rock as well. So next time I make a run to Menards, I will grab the remaining white rock to go around the pool. And then in the corner here, we will have like um, something to cover where the pump is at. And then also like something to maybe like hold the pool floaties. Um, and we're gonna do like a little like tiki bar here in the corner. So anyways, that is planned with the pool. I just got some more chlorine in it. Tablets are out, so we're just having to use like pool shock right now. It does the job, but we definitely need to get some chlorinating tablets. Fingers crossed they have those in stock next time we go to Menards because they're completely out of stock right now too. So anyway, this is what we have for the pool set up. Um, and I haven't showed you guys the fence yet, but we did get the rest of the fence in. So that is all up. It is complete. Um, and then we also have like a gate in the front. Here's some like leftover junk I need to get rid of. The water table needs to be cleaned out and refilled. So that's what we have going on over here. Now this is temporary. This is just something for us to sit in when we come out of the pool. I got this set from Target. This is the Opal House brand. Um, yeah, and these, I got the black just because I was thinking like with the kids and freezies and popsicles when they come out of the pool. Um, I didn't think that white was gonna be the best decision for these, but they're like the egg chairs, but they also rock and they swivel. Um, and it came with this little like stand. I wanna say I got it on sale for like 450 no, for the set. Huh? No, those are just normal clouds, honey. It's okay. There's no thunderstorm. And then Kaya got this. This is a swimsuit she got today at Target. So cute. I love it. I like to get like the rash guard so they don't get sunburned because their bottoms are always like under the pool. But at least then her arms are covered. Everything else is covered except for her face. And we use a mineral based like spray on their like faces. And then I also get like her neckline too. If you guys Sorry, are wondering. I'm too busy. Swim like Sisu. Yeah, like Sisu. Oh, is that from Rhea, the last dragon? And my name is Kaya anyway. Yes, it is, it is. Um, so anyways, she's having a time. I got a ton of pool toys. Kaya's practicing diving this summer, so I grabbed her some diving toys. Um, I did, actually. Yeah, and then 
a um, couple floaties. I got this one from Target online. My sister-in-law has the exact same one and I love it. It has like a mesh bottom. So I can sit in that and like kick my feet up, but then I'm still like pretty much in the water so I can stay cool. Um, we got this one from Target too and this was like $5. This one was $20. Um, this one is five and then the rest of the toys are from Menards. I just got like some miscellaneous things for the kids some pool noodles and for now like for storage in the pool So this is Kaya's life jacket. She always has to wear that um, When I have more than just like a couple kids in here um, She wears her body glove life jacket. I think we got this one from Walmart. Um, it was like $25, but um we just tuck our pool noodles into the side um, and back here you can see this is I do need to fill in with more sand and then rock um, to make sure that there's proper drainage. We've got a couple tiki torches um, that we can fill a citronella to like keep the bugs away later on this summer. So yeah this is coming together nice. I do need to fix the bottom of this a little and then um, oh my goodness that is thundering a little bit isn't it? She was right, it totally is thundering. But it's weird, because it's like clear skies, and then directly above our house is like a random little thunder cloud, which is super weird. Is this your floaty that you got from Target? It's so cute, I love it. Oh yeah, it's like a little boogie board thing. Yeah. We got that one from Menards too. I think yeah. It's so crazy, like Menards has the cheapest yeah, well, pool toys. What? If you go on it, I will do this. Hmm. I'll do this. Oh yeah. I'll sink and that's okay sink though. Up. Well, if you if it sinks all the way to the bottom, um, just plug the nose. Yeah, that's I okay. Do I do the thing where I walk. Okay, watch my um. Excuse um, you. Did you no. have sushi for lunch? You got full belly. Mom. What? And what I do? See, see Sisu, and this is what TC does. That is what Sisu does, right? She does like a spinny thing. That's and super then cool. You do this. this is the very empty. Let me see it. <laughs> you are just getting. You're gonna be the best swimmer, Kai. You're so good. That's really weird. This thundercloud is like freaking me out a little bit. It's like only above our house. It's weird. And watch. I'm just going all the way to the bottom. You are. Let me see. Oh my goodness. Then I'll just do a bum bum. A bum bum? Okay. Yeah, this is called bum bum. Okay. Oh my gosh. That's so weird, Kaya. You were right. It is a thundercloud. So weird. Just like a random thundercloud. Where is it coming? I don't know. I'm going to check the radar quick. <laughs> okay, so I have to check the radar, but I wanted to show you quick too. These are like, I love them. I don't know why, but they look so like tropically. Like I love fern looking plants. This are, these are actually not ferns. They're, oh, I think they're called like ash leaf spirea. Um, so I'm gonna put one here. They get to be about like eight feet-ish wide, five feet tall. So I'm gonna have one here. Um, I do need to rake up the rest of this dirt. And I just, I don't know. I can't decide what to do here quite yet just cause this is gonna get super wet around the outside, which is what I was hoping the rock would help prevent Mom, is like erosion. Is over today? Um, I don't know, honey, we'll have to see. Um, but then I have another one of these bushes over here um, so that it's equaled out. But yeah, this is what the backyard setup is looking like. As you can see, the back is like, the back is sagging just a little bit, like just like three inches worth. So Mike is going to put those cinder blocks underneath tonight. And this is where I'm gonna hang out and edit videos while she swims. And after I'm done editing, I will hop in as well. Um, and then back here, the final thing that we got, just picked up this like $60 black bin. Um, it was the only black one they had from Menards. And this is where I keep all of our pool stuff. Um, so on top, we've got our little net thing. And then, let's see if I can move this. I'm dropping everything. Um, inside I keep extra life jackets. These are Rikers. Um, we have a friend that lives on the street that also has a two-year-old little boy. So we're able to share life jackets with him. This is really nice for Riker just to like explore on his own with his life jacket on so I don't have to hold him and he can kind of kick. Um, and then I just have like pool chemical down here, some like squirter thingies. Um, and then 
um, sunblock, pool cover, all of like the miscellaneous outside and pool things go right in here and it's super, super convenient. I dipped in for a little bit. Uh oh. Better pick that up. Okay, my hands are full and I can't open the door. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Oh my bucket. It's hot. Okay, so I also wanted to mention to those of you who have been around since I started my day in the life of a working mom <laughs> vlog videos. I know that this is very different than how it used to be and I don't share these videos now to break and the only reason why I say that is because sometimes I get some comments and I just I want to show you guys what my life looks like when it's fun and I also have a lot of days where I'm just sitting inside and answering emails for Eminem Rustics and for my other things like in my personal businesses and things like that so anyways I'm showing you what a fun day looks like a fun summer day in the life but there are a lot of days where I'm working and I share those vlogs with you too where it's like a work from home mom day in the life they get a little monotonous though because I basically I would just be talking at you the entire time saying this is what I do next and this is what I do next and it would be super boring so this is like one of those like fun summer days and I do try to schedule in more of these kinds of days in the summertime, but anywho. All right, my battery's going to die and it is time to go and get Riker. Mike is finishing up a door and then I'm gonna come back. He's gonna drop that off and then we've got some errands to run and dinner to make. So this is where the chaos starts. Good morning guys. Okay, so we're on day two of this vlog. Yesterday we just finished up, um, like yesterday we just swam in the pool for the rest of the afternoon. I think where I ended it, we were going to drop off a delivery. So you saw me in the vehicle or like getting ready to like leave in the vehicle. So we went and we dropped off a customer order. We went and dropped off a customer order and then um, right before that we had Subway in the summertime. I do not stay as low carb as I probably should, but I eat very much so like on the go. We are very, very busy in the summertime. Leave it in the comments below if you guys can relate to that, but it's just like, go, 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 go. I know, is that Charlie man? <laughs> you want me to show them the kitty? Kaya wants me to show you her kitty. He's kind of mad right now. What is the mouth for Charlie man? Um, anyways, okay, so. We came home last night, it was pretty late. Um, I wanna say it was probably like 7.45 by the time we got home. And the kids in the summer, we usually let them stay up a little bit longer, but we had them in bed by about 8, 8.30 last night because they were very, very sleepy. Also, while I was away, my cat had run away. Okay, it was a whole thing, it was very emotional, it was very, very sad. It's actually, so it's Kaya's cat, okay, and he's my baby too, but um, while I was away from YouTube, our cat had run away and it was really hard. And it was right around the same time that Erin Williams' cat had run away. Um, so I took some tips and tricks from her. Air tags are not supposed to, I'm not a professional. Air tags are not meant to be for animals, for tracking animals or humans, but they work really well, according to a lot of people. So I did get Charlie an air tag, and the little cover is a cute little avocado. Um, and then I also got him a collar, which is customized, has like his name etched on it and my phone number etched on it. Um, and I or just ordered it from Amazon, but it was supposed to be here like a week ago. It'll come sometime, but it is also green, so it matches his little avocado. So, super cute. Anyway, okay. This morning, um, I think we're just gonna do quick breakfast. I've got Jimmy Dean breakfast sandwiches, or sometimes the kids just prefer to eat cereal out of the bag. Does anybody else's kids prefer this? Or my kids just, my kids? Okay, so 
maybe I'll do a little bit of Cocoa Puffs in a baggie. We are not gourmet over here. Um, we're just trying to get out the door um, as fast as possible because we definitely all slept in a little bit too late because we were all a little bit crispy sun fried from yesterday. And in case you were wondering, yes, we were SPF. I have several bottles of sunblock outside as I showed you guys yesterday, um, but also to start my days out, I always throw my Dr. Jart um, color correcting SPF on. It helps um, with sunburns. If you're a little bit red from a sunburn still, helps with that. And um, it also protects you from getting any more sunburn. So, and then I always reapply like the spray on my face. My face is much whiter than the rest of my body but it still gets so burnt. So anyway, I need to reapply more, I guess. So. Okay, so breakfast out the door. I'm also gonna make a um, breakfast sandwich for them to share. Grabbed some water bottles out of the fridge and then we're going to go to Target and I should probably swing by Menards and see if they have any chlorinating tablets. And then the rest of the day, I need to be cleaning because my house is a mess. Even though I want to stay outside, it's beautiful, not a cloud in the sky today. Maybe I'll just sit out there for like 45 minutes. We'll see. Okay. We do not need to paint with a carpet cleaner. And then, and then do, you have all, do you have all of your things that you need? You have your swimsuit? You have your backpack? Okay, we need a backpack. Riker, please stop. Welcome to my life. Okay, so um, last week I was at my parents' house. I, my parents, I think I maybe mentioned this yesterday, but my parents moved a block off the lake, about 45 minutes from where they're li what they were living. So I went and I helped them get settled in, got as much done as I possibly could, got back on Sunday night. It is now Thursday, it feels like Tuesday. It has just been non-stop. It has been constant that I have not been able to. I have to clean the garage. Look at the garage, it's a huge disaster again. I have to clean the inside. Today is a cleaning day. This is why it's a cleaning day is because everything is in shambles for me being gone for like 10 days, so. Okay, so just a really quick Target haul of some of the things that I got. I already put some of the stuff away, but trust me, it's just boring, like salsa and stuff. Um, these are my favorite from Target. These are the sparkling ice caffeinated. This is the uh, trippy hippie pina, pina colada. I need these to like get through the day. <laughs> it's so bad. I just, I need to like focus on life stuff too. But um, Arctic White Watermelon Wave is my absolute favorite. Breezeberry Hawaiian Shaved Ice. I've got two of those. Um, and then I got Popsicle and one is in the fridge and it's Mimosa. Grabbed Kaya some of this like butter bucket slime because I couldn't find it last week and she was so sad. Um, potato chips for hamburgers tonight. And then I got Mike a ton of new clothes. Um, I grabbed, this is like $100 worth, but I get all of like Mike's nicer shirts and stuff from Target. Um, Goodfellow is our favorite brand. He wears a medium um, and likes the more slim fit um, shirts. I think this is like one of my favorites that I picked up for him. It's like this denim I I don't know. Anyways, and these are his swim trunks that he got um, last year, I think. Anyway, the um, colors of his swim trunks go really nicely with a lot of these shirts. So we're out on the boat. Um, we have a wedding coming up for his sister, so I grabbed him some like nicer um, like polo shirts or whatever, um, but like still kind of cash, so he could like open this up, unbutton it with like a white shirt underneath. Um, yeah, and I wanted, I really wanted to get him this like palm leaf, um, print shirt, but he was, um, not about that. So anyways, I got Mike a bunch of clothes and I, I just threw it on because I was super cold. I was wearing like a black tank. Um, but I got these shorts, these like camo shorts. Um, I had to size down to a large because I was getting, um, uh, or like last summer, 
when I was buying these all in motion shorts, I was buying double XLs and now they're way too big for me. Um, anyway, so I got these camo shorts um, cause it was the only color they had left in large. So anyways, they're super cute. I love them. Um, and then I grabbed this shirt. I love the tie dye and it says love is love is love because that's what we hear for folks. Okay. So anyways, I'm going to sit down. I'm going to edit my video now. Riker is taking a nap upstairs. And then once he gets up from his nap, which that means I've got like three and a half hours to sit down and edit these videos for you guys. Um, and I need to straighten up my house. I literally just went to the bathroom upstairs and there was a granola bar on the rug in my bathroom. And I was like, and it's like stuck in there. I was like, yeah, I might need to clean a little bit before I can go outside. But anyways, that is the plan. I'm gonna get all the things done this afternoon. I'm gonna end this vlog here for today because I am going to start filming my clean with me video later this afternoon. But I hope you guys enjoyed the kickoff to the summer vlog series, summer day in the life series. I'm feeling, I'm feeling much better. Feeling more like myself now that I am vlogging again. I'm trying not to be too chatty because I know you guys don't like when I talk too much. But long story short, we took way too many m, &M Rustic orders. That is where I've been, is focusing on m, &M Rustics. And it has seriously just it's changed a lot of perspectives for me um once we got deep in like into the thick of doing so many m, &M rustic orders we realized that that wasn't what we wanted to do either we didn't want to do m, &M furniture orders full time so i'm gonna leave you on that cliffhanger okay i don't want to leave it on the cliffhanger but i'm going to because I'm running out of time. So I will see you guys on Monday. We're starting back on our regular routine routines. We've got Monday, Wednesday, Friday for the summer vlog videos over here on my channel and then home videos once a week over on the home channel, which will either be like Thursdays or Fridays or maybe Sundays. You guys leave it down below in the comments. Let me know what you wanna see. But it's good to be back and I will finish up that cliffhanger on Monday's video. Okay, bye guys.